In the last video of this video series, we are going to see how we can demote the existing Windows Server 2012 R2 to main controller. In the first step, we join our Windows Server 2016 to existing Windows Server 2012 R2 to main. In the second step, we prepare Windows Server 2012 R2 to main for Windows Server 2016 domain controller. In the third step, we install Windows Server 2016 as an additional domain controller for an existing Windows Server 2012 R2 to In the fourth part, we transfer all the FSMO role to new Windows Server 2016 DC. And in the last part, we are going to demote the existing Windows Server 2012 R2 to main controller. It is not mandatory to demote the old servers right away. First, you should have to implement other domain controllers to handle the load and for disaster recovery purpose. After that, you can demote the Windows Server 2012 R2 servers from the domain. Let's move to our Windows Server 2012 R2 domain controller for demotion process. Now here, first of all, if we see under Active users and computers, we have a two domain controllers, WS 2016, that is our Windows Server 2016 DC, and SRK FNDC01, that is our 2012 R2 DC. And both are configured as a global catalog. Let's move to Active site and services, and first of all, we are going to check the replication between both DC. Let's expand SRDF and DC01. Right click on NTS settings and select properties. Let's clear the checkbox global catalog and click on apply and OK. Now our SRT DC01 is no more configured as a global catalog. But still over here you can see both DCs are showing as a global catalog. Let's check their application. Okay, and let's do the same for WS 2016. Okay, now let's again click on servers and click on refresh. Now here you can see as what happened, DC0 is only configured as a DC, not a global catalog. Let's click on activity to users and computers and hit on refresh button. Now here we can see DC type is only DC, not GC. Now before demotion, Let's uh, see under DNS Manager, it will display all the resource record from SRT-DC01. Here you can see we have an alias name, we have a NS, srt dc one and if you see uh, other records like under DC, default first site name, TCP, we can see we have uh, all the records for SRT-DC01. These are the all SRT records. So now let's close this console. Close this console and close this console also. Now let's start the process to demote the Windows Server 2012 R2 domain controller. We can use uh, Server Manager or PowerShell to perform this task. But for this demonstration, I will prefer Server Manager GUI method. Now click on Manage. Select Remove Roles and Features. On Before You Begin page, click on Next. Here select the local server srtfngc01.pilotlocal. Click on Next. Now select Act Directory Domain Services and clear the checkbox. Click on Remove Features as well. The remove Rules and Feature Wizard returns with a validation error. The validation error appears because the ADDS server role binaries cannot be removed while the server is running as a domain controller. So first of all, we have to demote this domain controller and then we are able to remove Act Directory Domain Service role. So let's click on Demote this domain controller. And that will open Active Directory Domain Service Configuration Wizard. Now on credential page, you have to specify the credential to remove ADDS. But we are already logged in as a domain administrator, so we don't have to specify any other credential. If your previous attempt to remove ADDS on this domain controller have failed, then you can select Force the removal of this domain controller checkbox. Now let's click on Next. On the warning page, review the information about the role hosted by this domain controller. Right now, we have only DNS server role on this system. Let's select Proceed with Removal and click on Next. Now specify the new administrator password and click on Next. Now preview your selection and if you are happy with that, click on Demote to start the demotion process. After demotion process, the server will uh, reboot automatically and after that, the server will act as a member server of our domain mylab.local. 
Now after restart, let's again log into our Windows Server 2012 Arduino computer, but this time we are going to log in as a local administrator. So let's specify the username, administrator, and the password of administrator user account. Once you log into your Windows Server 2012 Arduino computer, continue with the next steps which are needed to fully remove the ADDS several binaries after the machine restart to complete the demotion. Let's click on manage, select remove rules and features, click on next on before you begin page, select our server srdi-1.pilot.local, click on next. Now select act directory to me services and clear the checkbox. Click on remove features as well. We also want to remove DNS server rule as well. So let's clear the checkbox from DNS server rule and click on remove feature again. Click on next, next again and click on remove. Okay, so feature has removed successfully from this server. Now it is displaying a message, a restart is pending on this server. You must restart the destination server to finish remove the feature. Let's click on close. Before we restart this server, I'm going to change the DNS server's IP address on this computer. Select the Ethernet adapter, select properties, select Internet Protocol version 4, click on properties and this time we have to specify the IP address of our Windows Server 2016 DNS server and that is 192.168.49.16 if you want to use this server as a member server. Let's click on OK. Close, click on close, click on close and let's restart the server. Select restart. Let's click on OK. After restart, let's again log into our Windows Server 2012 Arduino computer. But this time, I'm going to use the credential of our domain administrator. Let's click on other user. Let's uh, specify administrator at mylab.local because this server is uh, still part of our activity domain. Now, DC role is removed from this Windows Server 2012 Arduino computer and it is just a member server for our mylab.local domain. If you want, you can remove it from your domain also. Now, let's move to our Windows Server 2016 computer. Let's log into the server as a domain administrator. Let's specify the password. Now, let's open DNS Management Console. X1 folder comes on and click on mlcs.mylab.local. Now here we can see we have a only DNS record for wh2016.mylab.local and uh, mylab.local here we can see we have a only SOA NS entry for wh2016 but still we have a host record for FRTF and DC01 because that server is a still part of our activity to me. If we expand any SRV record now here we can see we have a only SRV record for ws2016.mylab.local. So finally, I can say we have a successfully migrated activity domain service from Windows Server 2012 R2 to Windows Server 2016, which is an easy process. I hope this video series will help you in the near future when you are migrating active directory from Windows Server 2012 R2 to Windows Server 2016. So that's it for this video and video series. Thank you for watching these videos.